From a premature birth with a 1% chance of survival to being selected as the 37th pick by the Seattle Seahawks, Derek Hall's journey is a testament to resilience and triumph. Overcoming immense obstacles, Hall's inspiring story showcases unwavering determination and the pursuit of dreams against all odds. Join us as we explore the unique path that led Derek Hall to the NFL Draft. Let me tell you an incredible story about Derek Hall, a guy who defied all odds right from the start. Born on March 19, 2001, in Gulfport, Mississippi, USA, Hall came into this world four months premature and things were looking grim. In fact, he was actually pronounced dead without a heartbeat before the doctors managed to bring him back to life. Can you believe it? This little chimp is what you'd call a miracle baby, because most toddlers in this situation wouldn't have made it. But Hall, oh, he fought like a warrior, spending a whole week on life support. Now here's the crazy part. The doctors were convinced that he would be in a permanent vegetative state. Can you imagine? So they told his mom, Stacy Good and Crandall, to pull the plug and let go. But thank goodness she refused. They said to me that he had a 1% chance of living. And if he lived through the night, he would have no quality of life. He wouldn't walk, he wouldn't talk. After spending a whopping five months in the NICU hooked up to a ventilator, this little warrior finally got to go home with his family. Even after his release from Gulfport Memorial, Hall's health remained a top concern. He underwent EKG and CT scans yearly, ensuring that he remained clear and ready to conquer the world. And yet, there was another hurdle to overcome, asthma. From a tender age, Hall battled with this condition, finding himself in and out of the hospital more times than he could count. But through it all, his parents were his unwavering pillars of support. They aimed to provide him with a semblance of normalcy, constantly encouraging him to believe in his boundless potential. They taught him that with determination and perseverance, he could achieve anything he set his mind to, all the while emphasizing the importance of moderation in his pursuits. When Derek Hall was just four years old, he took his first steps onto the flag football field. And boy, were his parents, Gooden Crandall and Cedric Crandall, feeling a mix of nerves and hesitation. They worried about letting him play, but all their concerns melted away when they saw Hall in action, blending in effortlessly with the other kids his age. For Hall, football became more than just a game. It was an escape from the challenges he faced. While other kids might grumble about going to practice, Hall was overjoyed at the opportunity to do something other than endure hospital stays, injections, or breathing treatments. It was his chance to break free from the medical routines and truly live in the moment. Reflecting on those early days, Hall shared, she knew that was just my way of escaping. Most kids were like, ah, I don't wanna go to practice. Still, I I was excited to have an opportunity to do something other than lay up in the hospital or get shots or go and get breathing treatment. His talents were off the charts and scouts took notice. This guy became a consensus four-star recruit and that's no small feat. Offensive, defensive, he excelled at both, making jaws drop left and right. They ranked him as the 147th overall recruit and the eighth ranked weak side defensive end for his class. Impressive, right? So what did he decide? Side. Well, brace yourself, because he committed to none other than Auburn University. Yep, that's right. College football was about to witness Hall's undeniable skills firsthand. Get ready to see this guy dominate the field like nobody's business. When it came to the game, Hall didn't hold back. As he grew older, around eight or nine years old, his stamina improved, allowing him to stay on the field for longer stretches. It was quite a sight to see, considering those five challenging months he spent in the NICU, but that wasn't all. Hall's physical growth matched his tenacity. He started surpassing his peers in size, a fact that was hard to fathom back in his early days. The moment came when Hall's coach declared that he was ready to graduate from flag football to full on contact and pads. Not only was he bigger than the other kids his age, but he possessed an undeniable physicality. At first, there was some skepticism. Nah, he can't be that tough. Can't be that tough, right? His uncle Kevin Gooden pondered, but then, one 
fateful night, Paul's sister showed Kevin a tape, a tape that changed everything. In that clip, Paul ran the ball and with sheer force, ran a kid right over, leaving no doubt about his toughness. Paul's passion for football burned bright, driving him to new heights. By the time he reached 8th grade, he had a revelation, a realization of his immense talent and the boundless potential that lay within him. Around the house, his mom would discover notes, little reminders Hall wrote to himself, outlining his goals and aspirations for the next 5 to 10 years. His vision was crystal clear, and he possessed a profound understanding of what it took to turn those dreams into reality. At Gulfport High, Hall's ability shone brightly on both offense and defense, earning him respect from teammates, even as an underclassman. There was something special about the way he carried himself on the field, coupled with his exceptional performance on it. His sister, Ronna Gooden, believed he would become a star on offense due to his large hands and natural ability to catch the ball effortlessly. However, it was on defense that Hall discovered his true calling. I just loved him on offense, remarked Kevin Gooden. I think he did great things on offense, but he was just a dog on defense. Two middle linebacker, defensive end, they put him everywhere. Hall's football journey reached new heights as his junior year drew to a close. Power 5 programs started taking notice, and the first major offer came from Ole Miss, coached by Gulfport High alum Matt Luke. Soon after, Mississippi State extended an offer, followed by Auburn Louisville, Florida State, and a host of others. As Hall's recruitment gained momentum, coaches flocked to Gulfport, eager to witness his skills firsthand and engage with his family. Leading the charge for Auburn was Marcus Woodson, a native of Mississippi who understood the uphill battle the Tigers faced in luring Hall away from his home state. If Ole Miss or Mississippi State wanted a kid from the state of Mississippi, it was hard to be able to pull a kid, Woodson reflected. To be honest with you, I felt that it was a long shot. So during his freshman and sophomore years in college, he played second fiddle as a backup player, managing to rack up a solid 34 tackles and three and a half sacks. Not too shabby, but here's where things get seriously impressive. In his junior season, Hall took things to a whole new level. I'm talking 52 total tackles and 9 sacks. Yeah, you heard that right. The dude was a force to be reckoned with, and guess what? His hard work didn't go unnoticed. He snagged second team All SEC honors in 2021, and then in 2022, he went all out and earned himself first team All SEC honors. Now that's what I call making a name for yourself. And the cherry on top? Hall decided to take his talents to the next level. He declared for the 2023 NFL Draft after the 2022 college football season. And guess who snatched him up? None other than the Seattle Seahawks. Coached by the legendary Pete Carroll. Can you believe it? Talk about a dream come true, completing his grass to grace story epically. Derek Hall is about to take the NFL by storm. This guy is an explosive force on the field, a real edge rusher with the rugged don't mess with me attitude. When he puts on those moves, offensive tackles better watch out because he He's got the power to send them running backward. Now, we won't sugarcoat it. Hall does have a bit of trouble with consistency when it comes to reading and reacting in a run-heavy game. And yeah, his rush approach can sometimes be a tad predictable with his speedy charges down the field. But here's the thing, you can't underestimate him that easily. Hall's initial contact is like a jolt of lightning, helping him gain that much needed positioning. And when it comes to hunting down sacks, he's a master. He can switch from being a bulldozer to a pocket vulture in the blink of an eye. Trust me, this guy knows how to get the job done. With Hall on their side, the Seattle Seahawks pass rush is about to level up big time. And here's the exciting part. If they develop him right, we might just be looking at an all-pro player in the making within a couple of seasons. Keep an eye on this rising star because he's about to make some serious waves in the NFL.